Alright, hey guys, what's up, it's Wolf, you're one and and welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? How are all my adventures out there? First things first, Nataku has finally released another adult gacha game. It is a JRPG, but I gotta say, uh, this one is definitely their most like visually pleasing gacha game on their site that they've just released. Well, not just released, uh, probably released like a few months or so ago, probably. But I remember actually seeing this because I've really been on Nataku lately. I think the last thing I have, have played in a while was like uh, Project R. Uh, this is the safe for work version. Uh, I won't be showing the non safe for work version for obvious reasons. <laughs> uh, and like last time I said that, and then somebody was reporting the video like, oh my god. Adult game is being shown, as, but nothing in the video was shown, but, you know, got taken down, but I got that up, but I got that put right back up at the end of the day. <laughs> but I've learned a lot about this game, and it's actually really interesting. So instead of there just being multiple characters in the game, there are... Uh, let's see, not 12 characters in the game. But here's the interesting thing. It's not that <laughs> there are a lack of characters. It's that they wear clothes, like dresses and stuff. And each costume has like its own skills. Like you see, this UR has this skill. I could just trade this out. Put this character in. New skill. It's funny enough, this character for some reason is fire. Look, they're basically the same. I could put this in. I basically have another skill. But that's a you know normal rank skill. Obviously, it's not gonna just show that. But yeah, that's basically how this works. <laughs> just apply that and you could just basically use anything you want, really. I'm actually going to take out this character, put her in. And funny enough, this game has not lagged at all. I would think like a 3D browser game like this would be like lagging like hell. But I have it on highest graphics and it's, it hasn't even lagged at all. It's actually quite fluid. Uh... Now, one of my pet peeves is they don't have a collect all. I'll say a collect all button up here or somewhere would be nice. Especially when you grab a whole bunch of rewards like that. I'll say their gotcha and like animation isn't half bad either. I mean, obviously, these are going to be paid currency. I mean, this is Nataku's like. <laughs> Standard gotchas there everything's mostly everything's gonna be paid, but then there is like a free something you can go into for events These are mostly for URs and stuff but We're gonna do use our tickets here So there's the easy way to tell if you get anything good out of this is lightning So that's probably gonna be an SR if it's like rainbow lightning. That's who you are. Yep, there's our SR. <laughs> I gotta say, the animations are actually really nice. <laughs> I mean, the story animations are a little bit... scuffed. But they're actually pretty alright. I do want to figure out if I can just put a costume on them. And have them just use those skills from the main costume because some of these costumes look really nice I would rather use those than you know better costume so basically the costumes are the characters <laughs> funny enough all right let's get down to 
the summer summon. We already got like one summer costume out of it. Ah, uh, that's gonna be an SR. Then I'll show you guys the gameplay. It's pretty much similar to like Summoner Wars. Obviously, you know, I could say Summoner Wars and everybody will know exactly what gameplay I'm talking about. Well, most people will. I also have another game actually coming up too, but I'm not sure if that game will be non-safe for work. Because mostly all other games they have as non-safe for work won't pop up in a safe for work version. Like they have quite a few gacha games that don't pop up over here for obvious reasons. Uh, they can't be safe for work. Because they weren't intended that way. What's that uh, exchange? Oh, I already have her, so I don't have to worry about that. It's funny because they sit in this like karaoke place and they just chill. This is our background. <laughs> Uh, that's paid stuff. Uh, they also have guilds as well. How much does it take to create your own guild? Ah. Oh. oh, you could just start the guild. It doesn't cost anything. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Let's change all that. Eh, some of these icons are less to be desired, but hey. Anyway, gameplay. I mean, obviously, we're going to be pretty overpowered right now, considering that we have costume slots. But I'm pretty sure the game's gonna get way more difficult the further we get in. Plus, we're at the start. The story is pretty interesting in its own way, really. <laughs> it's but yeah, as you can see, everything's gonna be 3D model. It's the enemies that are the interesting things. <laughs> Just, just watch how they get down, dude. Now, that's all you need to know. <laughs> I say, do you see the enemies just getting down with it over there? <laughs> Alright, so obviously... You just hover over skills. Fuck, dude. Fucking dance squad out here. They're just getting down with it. <laughs> yeah, for some reason that skill is just gonna be really overpowered. <laughs> However many times I use that skill, is is still just one shots completely. But really, if you want to play the non safer work version, you can. It just be careful on startup because it does show some show a scene that's <laughs> a non safer work scene right on the back of the start. <laughs> then I think from that point on, it doesn't really show up much. Bob also can tell you right now. Oh, yeah, she had a free character down here, too. Well, a free skin. But, yeah, I just want to figure out... I don't, I don't think they have an option to where you can just... cover the skin with a different skin. Like, I want to use the UR abilities, but I want, it, I want like, the better skins, you know? So, 
devs, if you're out there, make this a thing, dude. I want to say, it, it's cool to have the UR, but it's better to have, like, you know, the badass skins. I would say, if it's an option, I will find it. <laughs> that is my mission right now. I will find it. Or maybe I can just fuse. Well, no, maybe I can just transfer the rarity over to that skin. Instead of using that just to one-shot everything, we're going to do this. Oh, there's two waves, actually. Okay, crit receive down. Oh yeah, this gives invincibility, funny enough. She's more of a tank type character. Then I have like a healer. Somewhat. <laughs> well, I'd say the music isn't half bad either. <laughs> In its own way. Trying to see what this character does. I don't think she's gonna one shot. Yeah. Hits him twice, and each chance has a. Oh, okay, so bleed. <laughs> Their weapon choice is pretty freaking odd, though. <laughs> that I can say. I'm pretty sure encounters are the stories. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, yeah, please. I think Bond stories are non safe for work. Just to keep that in mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the gameplay. I mean, say I was impressed when I saw this. I was just like, wow, this actually looks graphically amazing. I wasn't expecting that. I don't think I picked up any orbs, actually. Or maybe I have. Okay, I'm gonna need this to uh, change the rarity. I wanna keep up you since you crit mostly every time. Ah, okay. There's also limit breaking as well, and also skill enhancing. But I think this is more of materials you gotta find around. Probably like a vent dungeon is what I'm guessing. Or either that or it's gonna be inside of events, which I haven't done yet actually. Who doesn't like swim skews, suit skins? Actually, this skin actually looks pretty sick. Uh, the other than, you know, baby shark being grilled on it. <laughs> Goddamn baby shark, of course. I can go back and wash these at any time. Let's see the event shop. Oh, yeah. You get all these skins. What is this event in? Oh, it actually ends in like three days from now. 
I don't even think I can actually fight this. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's already over. Well, at least I got the uh, stuff out of that. I'm sad that I missed that now. <laughs> My damn, dude. I'm already learning about these games late. <laughs> Okay, so now she's gonna show up on a main screen. No? Huh, I thought she was. Since they said we were friends now. I say these beginner missions right here are gonna be the most things. Oh, there's a guarantee of a UR if we finish everything else. That's actually pretty nice. So we gotta get through chapter five. Wait, this game's actually... Yeah, I would say... <laughs> I was gonna say it's probably the best one that they have right now. But then again, Project R is actually pretty good if you're into the whole Grand Blue scene. So that's on cooldown. Her passive's insane. Get out of here. But yeah, if it does interest you guys in any way, try it out yourselves. You guys know where to find me if you're gonna, you know, be playing it. Tis my username, especially on Dotaku. I was saying, surprisingly enough, some adult games are way better than most of the games that are being thrown on Steams. That <laughs> it's surprising. Mostly story-driven is better. <laughs> But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out.